This is a small, inexpensive servo motor. It can be used with your Arduino, Raspberry Pi, or other microcontroller to translate your code into physical motion in the real world. In the case of the Arduino, the max current draw for an I.O. pin is 20 milliamps. The stall current of this micro server is 650 milliamps, over 30 times the maximum allowed current draw of the Arduino pin. A stall occurs when the servo is unable to turn due to the load placed on it. In a no load condition, the power draw is much lower, but the Arduino should not be used to power the servo in any event. We'll be connecting the servo to the Arduino and supplying current to the servo from an external source. I am currently using this breadboard power supply that can provide up to one amp of power. You could also choose to use a battery pack or bench power supply. Be sure to check the operating voltage for your servo. This one is rated to use between 4.8 to 6 volts. Back to the servo for a moment. This is an SG90 knockoff servo. Small and very cheap. You can find 10 packs of these servos for around $14 on eBay. If we take a quick look at the wiring of the servo, there are brown, red, and orange wires. Brown goes to ground, red goes to power, and orange is the signal wire, attaching to one of the I.O. pins on the Arduino. We will be using the sweep sketch from the Arduino IDE for this example. Looking at the code, our control wire from the servo will attach to pin 9 on the Arduino. We'll connect that now. We'll also connect the plus 5 volts and ground from our power supply to the servo. One more very important step. We need to make a connection between the ground for the Arduino and the ground of our power supply to bring them to the same potential. The servo will not work if you don't do this. Let's upload the code and see what happens. And it works. The servo is sweeping back and forth. We're using an external power supply. And that is going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this, please consider hitting the subscribe button below.